As we ponder the vastness of the universe and the possibility of countless worlds in the multiverse, our quest for space exploration continues to propel us forward. The next chapter in human space exploration is being written now, with ambitious programs and missions that aim to expand our presence beyond Earth, back to the Moon, onward toward Mars, and eventually beyond our solar system. In conjunction with international and commercial partners, NASA's Artemis program marks a major milestone in our efforts to explore the Moon. Named after Apollo's twin sister, the Artemis program aims to return humans to the Moon by the mid-2020s, with the lofty goal of a sustained human presence there by the decade's end. Unlike the Apollo missions, which were short-term visits, Artemis envisions a long-term presence of humans and robots on the Moon, utilizing its resources and using it as a testing ground for technologies needed for deeper space exploration. The Artemis architecture includes Gateway, an orbiting lunar outpost that will support long-term human missions to the Moon and serve as a transfer point for missions to Mars and beyond. Gateway will facilitate scientific research, provide a platform for testing new technologies, and usher in a new era of international cooperation in space. In turn, the red planet Mars has long captured our imagination as the next frontier for human exploration. Based on decades of robotic exploration, plans for manned missions to Mars are taking shape, with goals to send astronauts to Mars in the 2030s. These missions will require improvements in life support, propulsion, and habitat technologies, and a better understanding of the psychological and physiological effects of long-duration space travel. Human missions to Mars will aim not only to answer fundamental questions about the planet's history and geology but also to search for signs of past life, test the possibility of existence on Martian soil, and lay the groundwork for future colonization. While the Moon and Mars are within our reach, the ultimate challenge is interstellar travel, expeditions to other star systems. One of the most visionary projects in this area is Breakthrough Starshot, an initiative to build a fleet of light sail spaceships capable of traveling to our nearest stellar neighbors, such as the Alpha Centauri system. These spacecraft could theoretically be accelerated to a significant fraction of the speed of light, allowing them to reach Alpha Centauri in just over two decades after launch. Such missions could provide invaluable data on other star systems and potentially habitable exoplanets, paving the way for future interstellar exploration. The journey to the Moon, Mars, and ultimately to the stars is not just a series of missions but a continuation of our fundamental quest to explore, to understand, and to connect with the universe around us. Each step into the next chapter of human space exploration can push the boundaries of our technological and scientific capabilities and inspire future generations to dream of the possibilities that lie beyond our cosmic horizon. Form Global Filaments This fact also confirms the modern theory of the formation of the large-scale structure of the universe. Meanwhile, allowing for the cosmological expansion of space, we can assume that with time the local void will become larger and more rarefied and the Virgo supercluster will gradually disintegrate into several independent groups. At present, it is an association of about 30,000 galaxies concentrated in a region of space with a diameter of about 200 million light-years. At the same time, the total mass of the cluster is about 1.2 quadrillion solar masses, which is down to about galaxies such as the Milky Way. The Virgo supercluster is partially contiguous with two other galactic superclusters, the Centaurus and Pavo Indus superclusters. At the same time, its other side borders on a vast region almost devoid of matter. It is called the Taurus Void and is one of the largest known cosmic voids. It is rather difficult to study this part of outer space. The reason is that most of the void lies in the so-called zone of avoidance, a sector closed off from us by the Milky Way plane. The bright stars in our galaxy outshine the fainter and more distant sources, and interstellar matter absorbs and scatters their light. However, thanks to infrared studies, we do have some ideas about the structure of this void. The diameter of this tremendous void is about 200 million light years, and the distance to the center is about 150 million light years. When observing the void, one is immediately struck by the remarkably clear boundary between the relatively empty space and a bright cluster of galaxies located much further away. It is called the Perseus-Pisces supercluster and is one of the largest in this part of the universe. 
A transition this sharp is characteristic of dust clouds, even though infrared studies do not confirm their presence. In all probability, the clear boundary between the void and the supercluster is caused by gravitation, but the exact mechanism of their action still remains to be found out. Meanwhile, it is thought that the Taurus void, like most other cosmic voids, is not quite as empty as one might imagine. The way light passing through it is distorted suggests that this region may hide in its depths giant gas and dust clouds, the cradles of future galaxies. According to other hypotheses, huge masses of dark matter, the most mysterious substance in the universe, the properties of which are still not fully understood, may be contained inside the void. According to the most daring ideas, there are clots of antimatter, or even more exotic matter with negative mass in the centers of cosmic voids. Nevertheless, despite their boldness, these hypotheses lie outside the boundaries of generally accepted scientific concepts, which makes it difficult to verify them experimentally. Currently, only two separate galaxies have been discovered tucked away in the space of the giant void. One of them, UGC 2627, has a spiral structure and resembles the Milky Way, while the second, known as UGC 2629, is an elliptical dwarf galaxy. Both objects are located almost in the heart of the void at a distance of about 185.5 million light years from us. The distance between them is small and is within a few hundred light years. Perhaps there are other single galaxies hiding in the space there, but the Milky Way disk does not allow us to see them. Meanwhile, the Virgo supercluster, together with four other superclusters, forms a giant galactic filament called Laniakea. It contains more than 100,000 galaxies and stretches for more than 500 million light years in space. Its gravitational center is the Great Attractor, a mysterious supercluster of galaxies located 250 million light years from Earth. In its turn, Laniakea is part of a vast galactic stream and further out one can see that most of it is surrounded by a black abyss of unprecedented proportions. The light of distant galaxies is drowned in its emptiness, and even the mysterious and elusive neutrinos take billions of years to cross this cosmic abyss. To be honest, it is hard to believe that despite all the development of observational technology, such a gigantic void was noticed only 10 years ago. In 2013, at the University of Wisconsin-Madison, a team of astronomers led by Professor Amy Barger was working to determine the distance between galaxies. In the process, an unexpected and staggering fact was discovered. It turns out that Laniakea and most of its surrounding superclusters are enveloped by a cosmic void of unprecedented proportions. After making calculations, scientists discovered that its diameter exceeds that of any previously known void. The size of the discovered void turned out to be so enormous that several fundamental cosmological principles were questioned. It appears that the universe is much more elaborate than we imagined. The research done by Amy J. Barger, Ryan Keenan, and Lennox Cowie has likely led to one of the greatest astronomical discoveries of recent years. Their work has shown that our galaxy, along with its surroundings, is located in the middle of the largest supervoid known to science. It was named KBC after the first letters of the discovery names. Observations show that the shape of the giant void is close to spherical, and its diameter may exceed 2 billion light years. According to calculations, the Milky Way is located a few hundred million light years from the conditional center of the great cosmic abyss and about the same distance from its edge. The discovery of a giant bubble of emptiness surrounding Laniakea helped to explain the paradox that had kept scientists busy for many years. The fact is that all galaxies in the universe are gradually floating apart due to cosmological expansion. Measuring the speed of this motion allows us to calculate the so-called Hubble constant, a fundamental physical constant characterizing the rate of expansion of space. However, if we take the galaxies closest to us to calculate the Hubble constant, it turns out that the rest of the universe is expanding too slowly. On the other hand, if we take distant objects as the basis, the Milky Way surroundings are moving faster than they should. The discovery of the void has accounted for a lot. The fact is that the galaxies inside it, including the Milky Way and its neighbors, are constantly experiencing additional gravitational influence from objects outside the void. This creates an additional force that gradually stretches our cluster in different directions. 
It is also surprising that the KBC void is so huge that it comprises not only superclusters of galaxies, but also other voids. For example, the local void and the Taurus void are part of its structure. It turns out that compared to other voids, even though KBC looks large, it isn't quite so empty. Nevertheless, according to calculations, even this void is just a barely noticeable dark spot against the background of the observable part of the universe, the diameter of the latter reaching 92 billion light years. If we look at the global map of the universe, we will see a lot of dark spots on it. Close to the KBC void in terms of their size, most of them easily fit within the framework of modern physical theories, while others show surprising and strange properties difficult to explain from the point of view of science. One of the most noticeable riddles of this kind in space is the Eridanus supervoid, also known as the CMB cold spot. It is estimated to have a diameter of 500 million to 1 billion light years, and it lies at a distance of between 6 and 10 billion light years from the Milky Way. This means that this formation is one of the most extensive elements of the large scale structure of the universe. The void is located in the southern hemisphere of the Earth's sky and occupies an impressive area on it several times larger than the full moon. However, it is impossible to see it with the naked eye. The CMB cold spot is visible only with the help of special telescopes that study the cosmos in the microwave spectrum. Thanks to these, astronomers have discovered that within the spot, relic CMB radiation of the universe is about 70 microkelvin colder than the metagalactic average. This deviation is nearly four times as intense as the strongest anomaly previously recorded, and its gigantic size makes it a truly enigmatic object that requires extensive study. It is now believed that CMB radiation traveling through hundreds of millions of light years of deep vacuum is gravitationally influenced by distant galactic superclusters. This causes the pervasive echo of the Big Bang to lose energy, making the CMB cold spot appear cooler in images than its surroundings. Nevertheless, this effect cannot fully explain the excessive cooling of relic radiation. According to calculations, the attraction of external galaxies can account for only a quarter of the observed deviation. It is assumed that the remaining 75% of the effect may be due to the impact of hypothetical dark matter or dark energy concentrated in the depths of the void. However, it is going to take a while before we can truly unravel this cosmic mystery. As we observe the cosmos, we see hundreds of millions of galaxies scattered in space, each comprising billions of all kinds of stars, trillions of planets, and countless other celestial bodies. This infinite diversity creates gigantic cosmic structures, covering space with a glowing network. But all this is but glittering dust against the great void that fills the universe. This void is the true cosmos, mysterious and dangerous. Maybe in its depths are hidden answers to the key riddles of the universe, or maybe there is nothing but endless darkness, hardly comprehensible to the mind. Only time will show whether one day we will get to the bottom of its secrets.